a boxer is one of the easiest things to make i tell you you know this tutorial is a very simple one if you just open your heart and follow what i'm doing you will get it very fast all about the world no world looks like you you can put a smile on your face you'll be beautiful Hello everyone and welcome once again to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make a perfect male boxers okay so i'm making use of a cotton fabric i got half yard you may want to use more than half yard depending on your measurements and so what i'm doing right now is i'm just marking two inches downwards for the waistband I will be my waistband measures one inch, but for the folding and turning, everything will go down to inch two inches, and that was why I took away two inches from that top, and I'm just drawing a straight line like so. Okay, so the measurements I'm working with, I'm working with a crotch depth of 10 inches, but I'm just going to add 2 inches allowance, making 12 inches. That is because it is a boxers and not, it is an underwear, it is not a trouser like everyone will see. So it's an underwear, I want something comfy, something very comfortable. So for the 10 inches crotch, I added 2 inches extra making 12 inches and that was what i did there 12 inches and what i'm doing right now is i am marking the length of the boxers okay so i'm working with the length of 14 inches okay but i'm adding one inch extra for the folding or the hemming of the boxers so the down parts there that measures about one inch instead of marking the line on the fabric already <laughs> showed the one inch so i just left it instead of ruling okay so you can work with length from 14 to 18 inches depending on what you want all right so the hip measurement of the person is 34 and i just had six inches allowance making 40 so 40 divided by 4 is 10 and plus i mean plus 5 plus 0.5 inch that's 10.5 so i marked 10.5 on the crotch all right the, the crotch region i marked 10.5 and i had a 2.5 inches extra allowance okay do you understand that and so for the Keep now I mean the lap rather sorry the lap of the person is 20 I had a 6 inches extra that is 26 so 26 divided by 2 is 13 so I have just marked the 13 inches for the lap you know the 6 inches extra allowance is to make something comfortable it's an underwear like I said alright so what like what I said earlier on that crotch region I had a 2.5 inches extra you understand to the hip measurement okay and so I'm just going to draw a curve you don't want to do a deep curve I hope you can see the chalk I am marking so what you do from that waist down you measure 8 inches to that place all right 8 inches and I mean for the flap now so you are just coming out with 2 2 inches 2 2 inches 2 2 inches for eight inches depth i said from the waist to the down part i measured two, two inches as eight inches down all right so I, in that place i'm measuring five inches and i'm just going to curve it to that eight inches i measured do you understand what i just explained and i'm just going to mark down from that crotch to the lap I hope you could see the chalk clearly. So I'm going to extend the the line upwards to the very beginning of the fabric, and that was what I did. And so I'm going to create a notch there afterwards, but let me cut out my uh, To all my returning subscribers, I mean my returning viewers, I celebrate you. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you are joining me 
on this channel for the first time i celebrate you thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe for easy notifications when other video drops so i'm just splitting my cloth into two don't forget it is on fold okay like i said the lady is a cotton material so i measured i measured two inches and i notched that notch, notching part is very important because you are going to use it when you want to sew so I'm just going to place over the fabric the one remaining from the, um, the front fabric and I'm just going to to place the front pattern on the back it's also a fold right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold that flap I forgot to measure that mention that on the waist I'm just taking the same measurement I got for that, that crotch to help to the upper part. I mean that that same ten and a half inches was what I used for the waist, and that's because it's going to carry an elastic band. Okay, so you don't need much fitting for the waist. So I folded the flap and I'm measuring it out on the fabric. I'm just trying to trace it trace the front pattern on the back after folding the flap because the back should not carry the flap and I'm also adding 2 inches extra allowance for the back 2 inches extra allowance this is an underwear you want something very free okay and I'm just going to cut out like I said earlier for the front add 6 6 inches to the second front i mean the width so your lap if it's 20 you have 6 inches make it 26 if your hip is 34 add extra 6 inches to make it 40 for the man you are making it for if you can also wear a boxers okay but the only difference is that you won't add the flap to it so the way the back is that's how the front will also be you understand that is just the difference all right i'm just going to keep and let's get to the sewing business so what i want to do is that i'm going to just fold the head with like 0 0.25 inches and I'm going to fold on that notched region. I'm just going to sew down. And you see, I folded and I placed on the notched area. And I'm going to sew down. I've made the stitching like that. And also that down part, I'm just going to fold a bit. It's just to give a neat sewing and to secure the rough edge. Okay. So, you can want to fold twice. To secure the rough edge i have done that i've done the sewing so that is for the left side you know i did that for the left side of the front do you understand so now let's go to the to the right part so in this one i just took 0 0.25 inches as well and instead of me to fold on the notched parts just like that left, left one what i did was i left it the notch part and i went to the other side do you get it and so i've just done the stitching down the next thing i'm going to do is to join the crotch together you will make the notch part face each other like so and we are just going to stitch the crotch area 
that part you know i stitched with 0 0.5 inches so that i could top stitch because i wanted something neat okay so that was what i did and to top stitch i'm just going to fold like so and sew down and i have done just that The next thing I'm going to do is to place, can you see, is to place that left part on, you know, is left from, from my own side. So that left part, it should be, you understand the left side. So you're just going to measure like, um, maybe like one and a half inches from that point upwards and stitch a bit. Yes, you just stitch around that place, one and a half inches, and that cuffed part. And I've just done that. I've just done that. Next thing I'm going to do is to take the back pieces and just join the crotch parts together i've done that and i'm just going to top stitch but the way i'm stopped top stitching is quite different from the way i did the front part so what i did was i just turned it like that and so so i've done that i've stitched together All this top stitching is just to give it something very neat. So the next thing I'm doing is to place the front and the back piece together and I'm going to join that inside of the lap. I've done that. You know, there's a way I do my sewing if there's no um, seja, I mean whipping machine. I, I explained how to do that in my last tutorial of palazzo and crop top and I want to check it out. Right, so I'm just going to fold the hem. I'm going to hem the fabric. I've done that and I'm going to join the sides together. Right, so after doing that, what I want to do is to stitch like three inches downwards, two inches for the band and an extra one inch just to close the part. I have done that and I just want to fold. So I'm going to fold my fabric. Remember we took two inches at the beginning of the video. And so is that two inches you are folding away from it. And I'm going to get, leave some space so that I can insert my elastic band. Alright, so I'm working with a waist of 28. I subtracted six inches making 24 so i'm working with an elastic i mean making 22 so i'm working with an elastic of 22 inches and i'm just going to insert my elastic into the boxers If you have not subscribed, I can do so now. Thank you very much. So I'm going to stitch the elastic together. I mean, if you have a zigzag machine, I want to use a zigzag, or you stitch in a rectangular form to secure the elastic band properly, like what I've just done in this video. Look at it. I stitched in a rectangular form. And I'm just going to I'm just going to place inwards and I'm going to sew that part I didn't sew make sure you don't sew the elastic and here we have our boxers this size is for a a small person not really someone big as such that's why the measurement is quite small 
so this person so you might want to take a measurement of your client thank you so much for watching this video i do hope to see you next time of my tutorial bye